Hello everyone, Katie here, aka PFrog, and today I'm here to celebrate reaching 100 YouTube subscribers. So, I'm here with 27 how-to tips for the infamous 100 Baby Challenge. Now, I'm not going to do the 100 Baby Challenge on this channel, but I am doing it on Twitch, so check out my Twitch link below. Right, without any further ado, Chapter 1, Your Garden is Everything. Tip 1, Splice Your Way to Riches. Your matriarch can't have a day job, so making money is your first hurdle. I went with gardening as my moneymaker, and golly gee whiz, is it a moneymaker. You can grow some pretty valuable produce in that garden of yours. I went with dragon fruit, which are found in rare seed packets if your gardening level is high enough, or from splicing strawberry and snapdragon. Easy peasy. Tip two, healthy snacks. Needing an adult around to feed toddlers is a pain in the bum. So. Grow something that isn't worth millions, like mushrooms, and then chuck a load in that toddler's inventory. When they're whinging, tell them to eat one of the pocket mushrooms and shut up, child. Tip three, happy snacks. Toddlers get happy moodlets from fruit and veg. Not terribly realistic, if you ask me. But as a rule, I found that the best way to keep that kid happy is to just give them a strawberry or something. Really helps with all that grieving of relatives they don't know. Chapter two, feng shui. Okay, okay. I know nothing about Feng Shui, but I do know where to put things in the house to make life easier. Tip four, Zen focus. Get yourself as many focusing objects as you can and make a focus room. Get your matriarch to play a little chess to get focus, then paint a mathematical diagram or five and chuck them on the wall. Then get a massive table and tell your kids and teenagers to sit there before telling them to do their homework and they'll finish quicker. Nice. Tip five, stay low. Toddlers on stairs is a recipe for disaster. If you want to make more than one level, make sure you make a toddler bedroom and playroom on the ground floor. And you can also put a fence and a gate around the stairs and lock it for all toddlers. Or just make a bungalow. You should also put the matriarch's bedroom on the bottom floor too, so she's close to the toddlers when they need her. Tip six, fine dining. Don't be messing around with high chairs. Just shove a sofa near the kitchen for the toddlers. It will stop them walking to their beds to eat. <sighs> Tip seven, so many bathrooms. Make a load of toilets and bathrooms. You're going to have a full bloody house for most of this, so buckle up and make a ton of different toilets. You could make individual stalls or use the ones from Discover University, but I just made a load of bathrooms. Tip eight. Art is life. Get those walls covered in art. Your sims will have a happy moodler all the time from a well-decorated house and probably won't notice all their siblings dying. More about that later. Tip nine. Baby room. When you have a baby in the house, your kiddos are going to try and coo at that baby every time it cries. And then your matriarch won't be able to get to them to do anything useful. So make a baby room and lock the kids out. Chapter 3. Make adjustment. Go get it energised. One bed to rule them all. There's a toddler bed with three energy. But you didn't know that. Buy this one. The littlest big bed. You're welcome. Tip 11. A good night's sleep. Buy the best bed you can afford for your matriarch. Just get arrested. She needs it. Tip 12. Or just don't sleep. Your matriarch can't be bathing toddlers, cooking, earning dosh or making babies if she's sleeping half the time. So get the never weary trait as soon as you can. We shall cover getting reward points later in the video, so stay tuned. Tip 13. Here be monsters. Can't be asked with the whole monsters under the bed rubbish. Get this light on the wall. Many of them. All around the room. Go nuts. Chapter 4. Baby daddies. Tip 14, preemptive woohoo. The goal of the 100 baby challenge is to get to 100 babies and as few matriarchs as possible. And how to do that? Don't let them age up. What makes them stop aging up? Being pregnant. You want this girl pregnant the entire time, so line up those daddies. As soon as you're knocked up, kick that boy out of the bed and go find another one. Romance them, then woohoo with them. That way, when you've popped and it's time to make another, he'll already be DTW, down to woohoo. Also, if you can invite him to stay the night when the going into labour moodlet has just hit, you're onto a winner. Tip 15. Be beguiling. You need to get that beguiling trait ASAP, so you'll need more of those aspiration reward points, which I swear we'll get to soon. Tip 16. Be charismatic. Get that charisma scale up higher to give an enchanting introduction, and also to borrow the occasional simoleon. Tip 17. Be like Katie. Make a spreadsheet. Those of you who know me well will know I have two great loves in my life, Sims and spreadsheets. 
write down those baby daddies. That way you can make sure you don't get the same donor twice, because that's against the rules. If you're old school, you could just write in a notepad, but you can't quickly switch apps and search the spreadsheet for a name when you've found your next victim. I mean donor. It's also handy to plan the next name if you're using a ridiculous naming system like mine. Alternatively, you can be like my friend Michelle, aka Scrub Sprite, and change the names of the donors to done or used once you've woohooed with them. <laughs> Tip 18, woohoo club. So if you've got get together, make a club to meet single guys or any guys if you're not bothered, and you can also make the club activities cooking and cleaning, if you fancy putting them boys to work. Tip 19, daddy house. Get onto the gallery, search for hashtag baby daddies, and download yourself a family of eight dudes to chuck in a house next door. Chapter 5, rejoice and be glad, because great is your reward in The Sims. Tip 20, garden, then get a mansion. So I've mentioned rewards a couple of times now. And if you're going for gardening to make your millions, do the gardening aspiration first to get a bunch of points towards your beguiling and never weary traits. Once you've got that one and you're making money from your gardening, do mansion barren and fabulously wealthy. This family are gonna be around for a long time and you'd be surprised how quickly you can get there when you're growing stuff like dragon fruit. Tip 21, problem solved. Let's take a moment to talk about grief. As you go through life, tricking time itself by being forever pregnant and seldom aging, your children will grow old and die before you. And your children will mourn the loss of their brother they never even met for days. <sighs> so, moodlet solvers are the absolute best way of getting rid of the grief buff. They're also great if your kid is really close to getting an A and ready to be aged up but is in a terrible mood before school. Because not only does it remove all negative buffs, it also maxes out all needs. Tip 22, farm the children. So, say you've got a grieving kid, they've had a hard life, and they haven't got any aspiration points. But another kid's been pretty chipper, and they've got a ton of them. Unlike reward traits, reward potions can be used by any old bugger. So don't let any of your kids grow up and leave home without spending all of their points on moodlet solvers and then giving them to mum to look after and dole out when the next death comes. And also make sure you take everything out of their inventory before you move them out. Because that stuff's just gone otherwise. And if a toddler's grieving, don't forget to feed them a vegetable because apparently that makes them happy. Tip 23, re-trait that girl. So you've got to pick random traits for your kids, but not your matriarch. So you can go with the classics like romantic and family orientated for your first one. But when you're ready to move on to matriarch number two, or three if you're doing it as slow as I am, you've got those random bloody traits. Technically, they don't have to be random for the new matriarchs, but that only helps if you know this is your last girl, which you can always tell. So get a retraiting potion, because my second matriarch ended up with lazy and erratic, which was a less than enticing combination for suitors. Chapter six, the final chapter and the tips I couldn't think of a category for. Tip 24, solo pooping. With toddlers, get their party skill maxed out ASAP. You've got to get all their skills to three anyway to age them up. So getting them able to go potty of their own volition is so much easier than mucking about with bathing them all the time. Tip 25, don't have twins, or God forbid, triplets. This may sound counterintuitive, but you don't want multiple births. The aim of the game is to get those kids out of the house as soon as possible. So you want a gap just long enough between each birth to age up each of those kids. And that ain't gonna happen if you're caring for twins or triplets. You might want the fertile trait, because it does make getting pregnant easier, but I would avoid the ley lines trait. Slow and steady wins the race, my friends. Tip 26, the heirloom cake. Did you know you can put candles on a cake and then put it in the family inventory in build buy mode and it'll basically never go off? So yeah, you could have a cake that's been there since the very first birth until birth 100 if you're really careful about not letting anyone eat it. So if you think about that in human year logic, that cake's like 80 years old. Also, I made a birthday room with one counter in it so I could lock out everyone else except the birthday sim so I only had one sim to worry about eating the cake. 27, micro home perks. If you have the tiny living pack, you can get your toddlers to age up twice as fast if you have a tiny or micro home. Now it might seem impossible to have that many Sims in such a small house, but there are ways to trick it somewhat if you're that way inclined. Scrub Sprite is doing this for her challenge at the Mo, and she made this house on the gallery if you're interested in downloading it. So the link for that is below too. Okay, that's my official list of tips done. Now you might be wondering, 
how do I keep track of what number baby I'm on? And what would be a funny naming system for my kids? Juan and Tallulah, Teresa and Fortuna, Fivacious, Sixtifer, Septimus, Octavia, Novak, Tenifer, Eleven, or and Twelvis. My mate Johnny thought of that one, isn't it hilarious? These are the names, as stupid as they are, in my hundred baby challenge so far. Thirteen a fourteen bra, fifth Timothy, sixteen o, seventeen a Tonia, nineteen a, and Twendlin. Now we're in the twenties and things are getting sillier. Trent, Juan, Desmond, Van Twinet, Euphoria. These are the names as stupid as they are in my hundred baby challenge so far. Wendy, Penelope, Wendy, Helen. I swear those had some logic. Then there's Trent Septimus, Van Otto, and Trent Novak. Thirty, uh, it's getting tough. Thirty on her, that one sucks. Thaddeus Tucson, yes, there's more. Thiefy and Third Ivor. These are the names, as stupid as they are, in my hundred baby challenge so far. Kurt Fivel, Kurt Shash, Thurston, yes, it's corny. Thursday, Thurnin, this one's just called Forty. Forty on her, also crap. Zoe, I had reasons. Four Fifi, four, four, four Fivel, four TZ. These are the names, as stupid as they are, in my hundred baby challenge so far. Four Svetlana, four Katie, yes, I put in my name. Forty Nina, Fiddy, then they start to sound the same. Fiddy Juan, Fiddy too, can you guess what the next might be? It's the last one on my list, yes, all right, it's Fiddy Tree. These are the names, as stupid as they are, in my hundred baby challenge so far. Fifty-three down, forty-seven to go. How I'll name them all, I really don't know. Um, hmm, uh, fifty-four. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and click that bell for notifications. And let me know in the comments if you've got any more tips that I've missed out. And share this with your mates if they're doing the 100 Baby Challenge, because hopefully they'll really appreciate some of it. See you next time. Bye.